For those of you new to our channel, we are Rhonda and Joe with RVing with the Maracas. After leaving Florida in February, we decided to tour the New England states in the summer of 2022. In this series, we're going to share with you the campgrounds we visited and our route of the area. What do you think about leaving Florida? Yes, I was very excited about leaving Florida. It was getting hot. We've been there too long. Looking at our spreadsheet, I think since we left home, since we first went on the road, 45% of the nights were in Florida. A large percentage. That's way too many. Yes. Of course, our next stop in New Jersey is second, so that's also way too many. Yeah. This is how you know where family is. Florida and New Jersey, yes. Not nearly enough nights in Wyoming. I know. we got to get back out west. But we're not going to do that this year. Hopefully we'll do the New England state. We're in Tennessee right now, and uh, one of these days soon we're going to the Grand Old Opry. Mm -hmm. Make Rhonda happy. Yes, I'm a big country music fan. So, and actually, I remember going there as a kid, a long time ago, with my parents. I'm sure it's a different place. Different place, different building, yeah. yeah. Hopefully we'll get to check out the old building. We're going to spend most of the afternoon there tomorrow. And of course, we'll take lots of pictures and share it with you. Driving north, we spent the night at two Harvest Host sites. The first was Lane Orchards in Fort Valley, Georgia. This was a wonderful place to stay with a large parking lot. The store was a great place to shop, and we got fresh pecans and a Georgia mug. The second Harvest Host was Bean Creek Winery in Manchester, Tennessee. It was raining when we arrived, and the driveway was steep, and we had a little trouble backing in. We did purchase a bottle of wine that was delicious. We stayed eight nights at Cedars of Lebanon State Park in Lebanon, Tennessee. We were in Loop 1 in Site 22. We had full hookups and this was a pull-through site. As stated on the website, the park is named for eastern red cedar trees found throughout the area. Cedars of Lebanon became a state park in 1955. It has over a thousand acres and 117 campsites equipped with picnic tables, grills, and electric and water hookups. So this is Campground Loop 1, and all of these sites are pull-throughs. Um, pull this is our pull-through site, number 20. They're kind of skinny. We have a pretty big slide, and we're actually hanging over just a little bit. This is Campground Loop 3, and as you can see, the campsites are pretty big. They have a paved pad picnic table, grill, and camp uh, fire, fire pit. We enjoyed walking on the trails and exploring the park on the cool days in February. Nashville is about 30 miles from our campground. We spent a day visiting the city. We visited Centennial Park where the Parthenon is located. This is a replica of the original temple in Athens, Greece. We did not go inside the time but walked around the park. It's a beautiful area and we highly recommend this if you're in the area. Madame Tussaud's Wax Museum was a fun place to visit. We took lots of pictures with some of our favorite artists. My favorite part of our Nashville visit was attending the concert in the Grand Old Opry. The night we were there was the reopening after the pandemic. 
It was not very crowded inside, and the feature artists were the Bellamy Brothers. We will definitely visit this place again. We ended the day with a very nice dinner at the aquarium restaurant. Thanks for watching and be sure to like the video and subscribe if you're new to our channel. Feel free to leave us a comment and tell us what you think. We'll be happy to respond.